Hello everyone, coming to you with another character video, but this is actually coming to coming giving you another um predatory might video. Um so this is um high blast is here and this is a predatory might that will um that would um feed off of your um bad mites. If even if it's crab mites or food mites also so if you have fungus gnats in, in, in your in your habitat too they would feed off with their eggs and so here is what the bug looks like I passed this mouth and I he's probably um, eating the maggot here so when you're you get them you get them from evergreen grower supply and and I'll put the link in the description. So um, right here, when they get it shipped to you, this is where they're gonna ship it to you in this tube right here. Okay. Um, what I'm doing, what I'm doing is getting a twelve thousand, twelve thousand five hundred and a half liter bottle, and it's eighteen dollars. Plus for air shipping would be thirty, which that totals up to forty-eight dollars. So yeah, it's expensive, but it's really, um, it's really, really, um, it's really worth it. So for some people that have low income and cannot afford anything like this, um, you might as well stick to deep cleaning. But. I do it this way so when I have crabs under and don't really want to do anything with the crab head, this is the way I go. So, this is what they do, they target pest fungus nets and western flower thrips and this is yeah, soil dwelling. And then also spider mates, you know, and adults are tan in color, less than one millimeter long, which is very small, but when you look closely, you can see them directly over a soy surface. So, yeah, when you have a substrate here. You have to make sure you get everything off the substrate, including shells and any of those little things that you crash chew on, like sticks and everything. So I'll be doing that. I'll be taking everything off the surface of the substrate in about a minute here. And also, um, in the soil surface, in the, in the, um, Substrate service, you're gonna make sure you gonna make sure you don't touch the soil because the 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 um crab the the um the substrate service because these some little guys are very 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 fragile and then you can accidentally kill them if you touch the su the surface. So I'll be right back here. Taking everything off the set.
Alright, so they just arrived. They come in this butt, black surface. Um, a tube like that. And first, before you put it, before you put it in there, you, the only way that you're gonna see if they are alive is put them on a white piece of paper. Put them on a white piece of paper, and if you see some crawling around, that means they're still alive. Where's the one that I? Where's the one that I? Saw? Oh, don't tell me that he went on the floor. Oh my God! All right, here's a. Well, yeah, I just saw one crawling around. So yeah, there's someone that's still alive. <laughs> so that's. And then I'll be putting some in the persimmons game. I've been seeing some <coughs> some mites in there too, and of course, fire attack. So they come right in a tip like this. It has to be sideways because if you put it from down to up, it would crush. It would crush them. These guys are very, very, very delicate and very fragile. I am again, so I got the two open, so um which good to do is um sprinkle it like this. But I only had some in the water. I hope I didn't get all of it. <laughs> so. Also, I would leave the tube in there. I don't want to touch this substance no, because um <laughs> that's so they can travel and stuff like and also we don't want to um also we don't want to kill them and touch them. The big delicate little guys. Make sure they are delicate little guys. That's how hot glasses normally works. 